Praise the Lord and God bless you. This is Pastor Stephen Roseman coming to you from New Hope Tabernacle. Amen. Uh, we are that caring church in the community with people in mind to love. And as you can see, I'm growing that, that fuzz. Amen. Um, but just wanted to encourage you again, uh, once again, in Jesus' name, um, basically that the Lord didn't bring you this far to leave you. The Lord didn't bring you this far to leave you. He didn't bring you this far to abandon you. He didn't bring you this far to forsake you. Um, but there's a blessing in whatever you're going through. Hallelujah. You can make it. Um, and, and oftentimes, you can't wait for somebody else to encourage you. You have to learn how to encourage yourself. You have to talk to yourself. You have to speak the word of God over your life. You have to stand on the promises of God. And this Bible... This Bible that we see here, there you go, is our prime example. Um, we see people in the Bible that, that, you know, they went through difficulties. They went through facing challenges. Uh, but the ones that are, were blessed hung on to the word of God. They didn't give up. They didn't uh, let go of God's word, but they stood on God's word. And we had to stand on God's word and his promises. And so I'm reminded this morning, even David, uh, he, had, he had a lot of problems. It seemed like as though when God anointed him, um, all, all hell broke loose. And so God was actually preparing him and teaching him. So there's a story in the, in the book of, um, uh, first Samuel, um, is in chapter, uh, 30 where David goes and he leaves his hometown, um, Ziglag, um, and he leaves it defenseless. Basically he goes out, tries to fight, uh, with the Philistines, the enemy, and they said no. So once he returns home, the Amalekites, which is another, another nation, Angola nation, just burned the whole city down. Took the woman, took the men's wives, their children. I mean, the, the, the town was a ghost town. And when he came back, the, his men wanted to, to, to kill him. They wanted to annihilate him. Uh, they was thinking about stoning him. Um, and David was, was, it was down because, you know, these men, he... He fed this, he fed them, he led them to victories. And it seemed as though one, just one time, you know, thing that he did wrong, they were up against him, which would teach you about leadership. And God was trying to tell him, don't depend on nobody else. Don't depend on people. People will pat you on your back one day and stab you in the back the next day. But he was teaching them to, de to, to depend on God, to depend on, on him. Uh, and so the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord which means that he seek the face of God. And in our turmoil, in our despair, in our uh, crisis, we need to seek the will of God. We need to seek God with our whole heart and mind. So to make a long story short, praise God. He seek God. He started praising God, started worshiping God. And God said, he said to God, you know, shall I pursue after them? Shall I recover? And God said, yes, you will pursue and you will recover. You will win it all. Praise God. Hallelujah. And 